The shocking truth is that Hugh Edwards has for years used his BBC status to sexually harass and groom decades younger colleagues and fans, including teenagers. Night after night, he sternly delivered the most important news to the nation, with his authoritative style winning countless awards. But away from his famous desk, he was regularly grooming and soliciting young people. His desires were not even put on hold for the very COVID restrictions he relayed to his millions of ordinary viewers. We have seen evidence from members of the public about his predatory behaviour. The complaints made to the Sun News Desk over a number of years demonstrated a pattern of behaviour. He followed them on social media, harassed them for pictures, offered money and then got nasty when they didn't do what he wanted. He would often use his position at the BBC as a way in. He was this rich and powerful man and he exploited that. Fans would send Edwards messages thanking him for his coverage, but soon he was pestering them for his pictures, always turning a seemingly innocent exchange into one that was sexual. He even sent a picture of himself at work at the BBC studios and one to his desk. When the parents at the centre of the scandal contacted us about his behaviour, it involved this time the desperation of a mother who had nowhere else to turn, a complaint to the Beeb which was ignored, and a vulnerable child. After our story broke the next day, the phones in the office wouldn't stop ringing. I received personal emails telling me of similar stories, of times they felt uncomfortable, of how they had just reached out professionally for advice, of how they had been contacted after liking one of his pictures, and of how he had then bombarded them with messages. The veteran broadcaster would always send a kiss, which would change the tone of the conversation with one small character. We received a barrage of emails all complaining of the same behaviour, and all involving pictures. After a decades-long career delivering the headlines, Edwards has now found his way into them in the most unpleasant way it is possible to imagine.